And we're going to bring home our freedom again. The freedom of people to raise their kids with their own values. I saw this video shared by Toronto Muslims of the leader of the Conservative Party in Canada, Pierre Polyèvre, or however you pronounce that. Pierre Polyèvre. Yeah, that. And he had some very interesting things to say. Uh, you know, Justin Trudeau recently butted his nose into our school system. He uh, tried to attack New Brunswick for its policy on allowing parents to be informed when the school is changing the gender pronoun of the kids. I believe parents should have the freedom to raise their kids with their own values. It's not the right of the Prime Minister. That's right. The Prime Minister does not have the authority to dictate to our provinces and our schools. Our parents should be parents and our kids should be kids. And Prime Minister Trudeau should not be forcing his liberal values on those families. All right, let's break this down. Number one, as Muslims, hell, as Canadians, we need to stop thinking in this whole, I'm liberal, so I'll always vote liberal, or I'm conservative, or I'm NDP, and that's the way it is. That's just the way I vote. People, this is not a football team. These parties need to earn your vote. Don't just pledge your allegiance to them. Number two, Pierre here said that the federal government should not get involved in pushing these LGBT agendas and schools and preventing parents from instilling their values or various religions instilling their values onto their children, their practitioners and followers. Sadly, in this day and age, this man sounds like a hero for literally stating something that is so blatantly obvious and is actually part of our rights as Canadians and part of our religious rights, the right to religious freedom. But the level of government intervention and degeneracy in today's day and age has reached an all-time high that someone saying something as basic as this, basic common sense, sounds like a hero. But I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. I'm glad he said it. And finally, in the upcoming election season, we need to grill these candidates on all these matters. Get rid of these laws that are taking children away from parents if the parents do not consent to gender-affirming surgery, aka mutilation of minors. We need to grill them over this whole pushing of the LGBT agenda in schools on children against parents' will. And hell, we need to grill them on this outlandish, this outrageous cost of living that is making it impossible for people to stay in Canada and to live a dignified life. God forbid we discuss how many people are on food stamps and can't make ends meet. We need to ensure these issues are brought to the forefront. You don't owe your vote to anyone. They need to earn your vote. Remember that. Salam. Peace.